natin is about lateral epicondylitis. Ang lateral epicondylitis, yan po ang medical term sa tennis elbow. Ang tennis elbow, ito po yung masakit sa braso, sa siko. Yan tinatawag na lateral epicondyl dito sa elbow natin. Ito yung makakapan yung actually yung lateral epicondyl na yan. May muscles po tayo na naka-attach dito sa lateral epicondyl all the way to the hand. Yan po yung tinatawag na extensor muscles. Uh, very common po ito. Very common po itong um, lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. Uh, common po ito sa mga repetitive movements, yung squeezing, gripping, uh, yung mga sports related injury, yung mga tennis, yung naglalaro ng tennis. Tapos, um, yung mga sisipag, tayo mga Filipino, masisipag tayo, lalo na yung mga OFWs, yung may ilig maglinis ng bahay, yan, naglalaba. Very common po itong tennis elbow. Ito po ang tinatawag namin dito sa physical therapy. Uh, pinaka uh, most common overuse injury sa elbow, yung tennis elbow. Dahil po yung muscles niya nagkakaroon ng inflammation. Pagka sinabi, sinabing lateral epicondylitis, the word itis is an inflammation of the muscles. Itong extensor, masakit yung braso na yan. Sina na tayo ng exercises. Okay, follow niyo po ako dun sa mga may elbow o tennis elbow or mas sakit ang braso. Ang una niyong gagawin, mag-start kayo ng active range of motion, uh, warm-up exercise. So, ang mangyayari, magkakaroon tayo ng active range of motion, extension, flexion. Okay, Extent wrist extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. Let's do this, um, three sets of ten. Okay. Yan. Dahan-dahan lang, hindi dapat mabilis, okay. Ilagay niyo lang dito sa sa table, ganyan wrist extension, flexion, wrist extension, flexion after 30 times, we're gonna do a uh, radial deviation, okay? this is radial deviation, ulnar deviation radial deviation, ulnar deviation, okay? again radial deviation, ulnar deviation radial deviation, ulnar deviation let's do um, 30 repetitions 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Rest. And then let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? So after 3 sets of 10, uh, you're gonna do this every day, itong active range of motion ito, okay? Active range of motion. After doing wrist flexion, extension, radial deviation, ulnar deviation, ito naman po ang pronation supination. Uh, ilagay nyo lang yung braso nyo sa gilid ng trunk, okay? Dito, sa gilid ng katawan nyo. We're gonna do supination. Ito po ang supination, pronation. Supination, pronation. Follow nyo lang ako. Okay. Yan. Pagka ginan ito, ito po ang tawag na pronation. This is supination. Let's do this 30 times. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright. Again, pwede nyo rin ilagay yung braso nyo dito sa table. Um, uh, supination, pronation. Supination, pronation. Pwede nyo, ling, pwede nyo rin i-overpressure. Okay? Overpressure yung supination, pronation. Supination going this way. Pronation going this way. Okay? Supination, overpressure. And you hold it for 5 seconds. And then back, overpressure. Hold it for 5 seconds. Again, supination. Hold it for 5 seconds. And then, pronation. Hold it for 5 seconds. Last one. Yan. Okay. Alam nyo, natutuwa ako. Madami akong mga kaklase. Um, kaklase sa elementary, 
uh, bumabati sa akin. Oh, kamusta na kayo dyan? Yung mga brothers ko na mga mason. Ayan, kamusta na, na din dyan? Okay. Ayan. Okay, so uh, we're doing supination, pronation. Um, those are the warm-up exercise, active range of motion, and stretching. Ang an additional stretching naman natin, um, stretch natin yung extensor muscles. Ko ang extensor muscles nandito, no? sa braso, sa taas, yan, right here. So, ang gagawin natin, e, wrist flexion, and then just over pressure. Pagka sobrang sakit, dahan-dahan lang po. Huwag masyadong, um, masyadong agresibo sa pag stretch Kailangan, um, Gentle, medium pressure. All right, you stretch this for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, po, okay? 30 seconds. Wag masyadong uh, agresibo sa pag stretch. All right, let's do this three repetitions. Okay, last one. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, gentle stretching. Okay. Pagka gumagaling na, medyo gumagaling na tayo dito sa um, lateral epicondylitis na diagnosis, pwede natin mag ganito, sara natin yung kamay para mas matindi ang stretching. Ayan. 30 seconds again. 3 repetitions. 30 seconds. Ayan. Alright, let's do this one more time. Close yung fist, ganyan. And then, stretch for 30 seconds. seconds. Okay. Trigger point release. Okay, trigger point release. Um, ang trigger point ng lateral epicondyle, hindi naman sa buto yan eh. Usually, nandito sa muscles. Nandito, oh, yan, oh, masakit pa rin yun sa akin. Uh, pero it's, it's a lot better. Pag deep lang, huwag masyadong madiin, ha? Huwag masyadong madiin. And then, press. Mag, uh, press lang, constant pressure, ganyan. Alright? And then, you do pronation, supination. Yeah. Do this for a minute. One minute lang po. Pronation, this is supination, pronation. Supination, pronation. Trigger point release. Bakit po natin ginagawa itong trigger point release? Dahil yung blood flow. If there's an increase in blood flow, yan po ang nagpapagaling sa tendonitis or sa epicondylitis. Pagka minamassage kasi increase yung blood flow, we're stretching, and then we're decreasing fibrosis kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng scarring. May scarring po yan. Kaya um, dahil wear and tear, overuse injury, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga peklat or scarring dito sa elbow natin. Okay? Again, trigger point release po. Ayan. Pronation, supination. Pagka masakit din dito, may trigger point tayo dito, press lang ng constant pressure and then do pronation, supination. Ayan. Pronation, supination. Alright? Eh, kung dito masakit din, ganun din. Pronation, supination. Alright. Last massage na po tayo. Ang susunod po na massage is what we call um, cross friction massage. Ang cross friction massage, um, ang fibers po natin, nagra-run siya dito. Um, sara ko lang to. Ang, ang tendon or ang muscles natin, ng extensor muscles, nagra-run siya dito. So, kailangan i-massage natin siya opposite the direction. So, side to side, ganyan. Side to side. Ayan, masakit o. Diyan o. So, again, medium, ge gentle to medium pressure. Ayan. Ayan ang cross friction massage. Medyo masakit siya ha. Medyo diindiinan lang ng konti para ma uh, mabawasan yung adhesion sa kayong fibrosis dyan. Ayan. Okay, tapos all the way dito, mga 1 to 2 minutes, 2 minutes. Actually, yung ibang sa textbook, ni re recommend nila mga 20 minutes. Pero i-breakdown nyo lang, agawin nyo 2 minutes here and there. 
Uh, pag gamit time kayo, i-2 minutes massage, ganito lang po. Ha? Huwag lang pisil ng pisil. Just may purpose yung ating pag-massage. Yung tamang, appropriate na na uh, massage technique. Kasi kung ano-ano lang ang pag it's gonna cause you more harm. Okay? Or less effective po siya. So, cross friction massage, side to side, side to side, all the way to the wrist, all the way from elbow to the wrist area. Two minutes. Alright, guys. Um, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na ito. Madami kayo natutunan uh, from exercises, massage. Uh, Tuloy-tuloy lang po. And I have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Subscribe po sa Dr. Reyes sa YouTube and dun sa mga bagong follow. Hi, this is Dr. Jun Reyes. Kung bago po kayo dito sa channel ko, uh, please subscribe po and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Ako po ay based dito sa New York. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'll see you later.